Thanks for joining me again here this week, guys. I'm uh, solo hunting out of my Kodiak canvas tent uh, up in Region 3. It is uh, November 5th, uh, my anniversary. So uh, I'm not sure what to say about that other than I have the most amazing wife in the world. We got what we wished for. Now we gotta figure out where we're gonna get a camp set up. And hardly see. Well guys, I uh, got trapped in a blizzard here last night. So I uh, ended up sleeping in the truck instead of trying to set up the canvas tent in the in the 50, 60 kilometer an hour wind and uh, blinding snow. It was uh, really hammering down. Definitely a couple buck tracks here. Just heading up the edge of this uh, power line. I really appreciate you watching and providing feedback to help me learn to film hunts across British Columbia. I'm still in the early stages of my filmmaking journey, so the impact of your support can't be understated. I greatly underestimated the challenges associated with learning the skills required to capture the true essence of my adventures. Killing is an essential part of hunting. But hunting is about so much more. My goal is to capture the entire story and the struggles that go along with being a dedicated BC resident hunter. So we got camp all set up here. The wood stove set up for the first time out here um, on a hunt. It's going to get down to uh, about minus 7, maybe minus 10 tonight up where I'm at here. So uh, it'll be a good test to uh, see how cozy it is in here. This Kodiak Canvas Flexbow tent, it's um, it's a palace for, for one guy with all the gear and the wood stove. And uh, you you could get away with uh, two people with cots and the wood stove. Right now, I'm going to head out uh, along the brakes. I'm in uh, a premium spot. This is the spot I tried to get to last night, but I was uh, shut out by by a blizzard, basically. So I ended up sleeping in the truck. Uh, I, I shut her down at about 11 or 11.30 last night. Uh, I stopped driving. Um... And then uh, hunted the morning from the truck with uh, little punch hikes, cutting tracks. I seen I cut a couple big buck tracks. They looked like they were, um, you know, about 12 hours old. So probably as I was driving in uh, in the evening, they I crossed them up pretty good. Um, other than that, uh, this sounds really good. I have heard a couple gunshots since I've been here. So seems like. Uh, the Bucky Boos are going to be down in this area. Palace. Well, here we go. I'm not the only person who's been here. Little signs of life. We definitely got the snow is just starting so it's supposed to get a good dump here this evening I can just see it sweeping in across the land so it'll just be a still hunt working my way through the timber I just crossed a really fresh cougar track in the snow so up a little higher there he came through today so 
Keep my eye open for that. Got a real nice spot here. There's kind of a, a drainage that comes up here. And then there's a little ramp, like someone cut a grade here a long time ago. And it comes up, there's a bit of a grassy field there. It's about 150 yards across here. It just has a deer look to it. I just crossed a, a big track. It might have been a buck. I couldn't see any dew claws on him. But uh, it was a big track. It's a heavy body deer, so. About 12 hours old, too. Last night maybe early this morning because a, a bit of snow blew through here this morning but the main snow you see around is from uh, yesterday it's supposed to uh, supposed to snow really good here this evening too so we'll see I'm just gonna sit here for a bit and uh, see if I can get one cruising across the other side Definitely lots of geese heading south right now. Late for them this year. I had a really late summer with lots of heat. So they got to get extra fat before they headed south. Probably sit on this for an hour or two. Sure is fun getting out here even if I am solo more than I'm hunting with buddies. It's just really nice kind of devamp. The work pressure's been pretty crazy lately, so it's just nice too. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've been uh, in reaching a couple colleagues at work there about some critical stuff that's being looked at over the weekend. It would pr make a pretty cool story if I could uh, get into a buck on uh, our anniversary when technically I shouldn't even be here. Sometimes that's the way the hunting gods work. Well, hopefully that, uh, that raven is uh, ratting out a deer that's uh, cruising through the timber. We'll have to see. something about wood heat that uh, brings a lot of joy and security to you. It's just a beautiful night in here. There was still enough coals that I just had to open the vent and damper and, uh, and then throw in just a couple logs. No, no kindling and uh, got it rip roaring again right away. So that's perfect. That's what we want. Get her 
Sunday hunt going here. I'm just gonna have coffee and get out of here. Well, guys, I uh, there is sign, fresh, fresh sign. It seems like the big snowstorm <clears throat> that came through on Friday that I kind of got uh, turned around in has pushed the bucks right down here now. There is a lot of buck tracks mixed in with the, the doe tracks here. I probably cut at least six fresh, fresh, big tracks that look like could be a potential of a buck. So what I'm going to do is post up by this stump and just wait them out. They're cruising through here quite a bit, so it's a pretty good setup. So I trailed the, the tracks to where they've where they're converging the most, and I'm just gonna wait here quietly. This could happen. This could really happen. Never put your hat on the bed, son, never put your hat on the bed. Cause if your hat's on the bed, you might wake up dead, so don't you never put your hat on the bed. But if you do, be sure it's upside down, son, if you do, be sure it's upside down. Cause if there's any doubt,